Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and thank you for being here today. As always, if you are new here, please consider subscribing and liking this video. And for those of you who come back every week, I thank you so much for your support. I apologize for being a little bit later than normal. I made that community post yesterday and I updated you guys that it was kind of a busy weekend and I had some rabbits attack cabbages. I will post pictures later on, but dealing with trying to rabbit proof the garden most of the weekend and I had um, several private tarot readings and so I wanted to get those done whenever I have a private reading. I always promise same day or next day. So those needed to be done and here it is 1030 at night and I'm trying to definitely get this video up. Mm, I don't know if it's going to be tonight. It's probably going to be well after midnight by the time it is actually up but we're here now and that's what matters um also private tarot readings are always available if you're interested all you have to do is email me i will have my email address in the description box and let's get started let's get right into this reading this was a requested video and it is on um, let me see, what is his name before I mess it up? Eloy Roland or Roland. I think it's Eloy Jean Roland and he is from France. Um, let me just read this story because this is the first time I'm hearing of it. While I'm reading this, I'll put my usual pictures up of Eloy and his family. His mom and dad have been very vocal about his disappearance. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm reading here in this article, I believe that French filmmakers are in the process or working on creating a documentary on the missing teen Eloy Rollins. So that's interesting. But anyway, so let's start. Rolland, or Eloy, 18, arrived in New Zealand from Montpellier in France to learn English in September 2019. He was living with a host family on the North Shore when he left the house on the evening of March 6, 2020. It is not known where he spent the night. Early the following morning, he caught a train from the Brito Mart station. I'm sorry about my pronunciations. In the CBD to New Lynn, where CCTV snapped him walking down from Fruitvale Road. Cell phone data puts Rolland in the vicinity of the Piha Road and Scenic Drive intersection at 9.18 a.m. where police believe he walked. Police have not been able to confirm his whereabouts beyond this point. The case caught the attention of Fre French director Bruno Dupoy of Acabella Productions who arrived in New Zealand this week to film a documentary series on Rolland's disappearance. Dupoy and Rollin barely featured, oh, sorry, Dupoy said Rollin barely featured in France's media when he went missing. He says, quote, the media hasn't been fair in the case of Eloy. Searching for Eloy, founded by French state broadcaster France Televisions, will explore Rollin's life in France and his stay in New Zealand. All right, let me see here. Um, let me keep searching here because I want to find out if I can get more more information more details on his visit in New Zealand because this is like the first time I'm hearing of this case um, I've you know like I said this was a requested video and I just want to get some basic information all right um, the one thing that I did notice because when I was searching for him earlier the area that he went missing, the Piha Road, leads to the Piha Beach. And I guess that's a really beautiful beach in Australia. However, it sounds like the Piha Beach needs a reading in and of itself because there's been several people go missing in and around that area. Some have been deemed uh, foul play, some have not. But it's just strange that he goes missing in an area where you know, like I said, several other people have went missing. Okay, Eloy Rowland, Roy, Rowland, who was 18 at the time, has not been seen since March 2020, right before New Zealand's first COVID lockdown. 
He was last seen on the morning of Saturday, March 7th. Cell phone data indicates he was in the area of Piha Road at 918 that day. Due to the pandemic, his parents Catherine and Thierry Rowland haven't been able to get to New Zealand until now, where they are seeking the public's help. On Thursday, they appeared on breakfast and spoke through an interpreter. We're here in New Zealand to call for all witnesses to come forward, Thierry said. Or Thierry said. He came to New Zealand perfect to perfect his English, to discover your beautiful country, New Zealand, and to become independent. Rollin came to New Zealand on a nine-month student visa. If anybody can give a sign of him that he is well, happy, just something like that, I'd be happy, his mother said. She said she believes there are two possible scenarios about what happened to her son. One, that he's had a mental breakdown and got lost, or he's had an accident. We'd like the search to keep on going, and all the people who met him in his last few days say Eloy was optimistic. He's very kind. He's open. Anyone with information about Eloy's disappearance is urged to contact the police. So, okay, so he was in... He was in Australia for nine months working on a degree in English. And... Out of nowhere, he just disappears. People don't just disappear. In an area where others have also disappeared. Okay, the family of a French teenager who mysteriously disappeared in Piha two months ago, so this is definitely early on in the case that this article was put out, says he was likely going to collect the area's famed black sand to take home to show them. But they say he was also lonely and quite disturbed. Oh, so his family is saying he was lonely and quite disturbed. wonder what that means. Before he went missing and had suffered several sentimental setbacks during his time in New Zealand. Eloy Jean Rollin, 18, came to Auckland in September to study English. He was staying with a host family in Birkenhead on the North Shore and was reported missing after he failed to return home on March 6th. Police would later confirm that at 6.30 a.m., the day that the teen was captured on CCTV footage, catching a train from Brittermort Station in the CBD. Then at 7.26 a.m., he exited Fruitvale Station at New Lynn. Cell phone data picked up later placed the teenager in the area of Piha Road at 9.18 a.m. Rollin has not been seen since, and his phone stopped transmitting soon after that last location was picked up. A t-shirt found last month at Care Care, an area 7.3 kilometers south of Piha, is being forensically tested to determine if it belongs to Rollin. Officers searched the area extensively, but to date there has been no sign of him. Today, the Herald spoke to Rollin's sister, Aurora, I'm not even going to try to pronounce her name, who said he was in regular contact with her and the rest of the family. They spoke or messaged several times a week. He was determined to want to return to France as quickly as possible, explaining that everyone that he was homesick, she said. I told him of my surprise at his premature return, which seemed to me very abnormally hasty. Rollins' return ticket was scheduled for late May, but he was set to head back to Montpellier in southern France on May 21st. He assured me that he wanted to see his missing friends again and that he felt too lonely and that he preferred to return as soon as possible to prepare for a test in view of joining the Air Force. If he failed, he planned to continue his studies in a preparatory class in Toulouse. She said her brother had suffered several sentimental disappointments but seemed to be resilient when they last spoke. He wanted to move on and accept things as they were. He had positive thoughts and he looked forward to coming back home. He expressed the desire to return to France as quickly as possible, justifying this by a heavy loneliness and projects to be carried out. The sister said her family had spent endless hours speculating about what may have happened to him, but they really have no idea. We were not by his side in New Zealand, and we only knew what he wanted to tell us, both about his schedule and his friends, his outings, his activities, his moods, she told the Herald. 
Personally, I found him quite disturbed in the last months preceding his disappearance. Interesting. I had questioned him at length on the subject, and yet he kept assuring me that everything was fine and that there was no reason to worry. So suicide, an accident, a bad meeting, a settlement of accounts? Since March 6th, the question remains completely in suspense. So, um, you know, he is young. You know, he's very, very young. Uh, 18 years old to go to a different country and, you know, be a foreign exchange student and possibly not speak the language. I, I don't, you know, I, and to be uh, living with a host family. I can't see myself doing that now in my 40s, much less if I were 18. Maybe someone younger is more likely to do something like that, especially if they're the adventurous type. He seems to be a really intelligent young man. Um, could it have just been being homesick? Is that what was causing him to act kind of off those last couple of months prior to him missing? So was this just a wrong time at the wrong place? He ran into the wrong people? It, you know, If he was going out there to collect sand to take home to his family to show them the sand from that beach, then he had all intentions of returning. I don't know. So let's see what's going to what's going to come out. So I'm going to start with the Black Mirror Oracle and just kind of get an idea of what was going on in Eloy's mind leading up to his disappearance. What was he dealing with? What was he what was he thinking about? What was his um, energy around him? prior to Eloy's disappearance. Let's bring this a little closer. Okay. All right. So we have fated to suffer. Hmm. Fated to suffer. We'll start here. Is that a sign that he felt like it wasn't going to get better? That it wasn't going to improve? Maybe. It also shows someone offering him something. Was he, was he approached by someone on his way out to meet the beach? Did someone offer him a ride? Um, did someone offer to take him someplace? Uh, looking at that, and then we have uh, Envious Gluttony. This is probably the creepiest card for me in this deck. I don't know if you can see the face, but the face is just really creepy. Uh, and to me, when it says Envious Gluttony, this is somebody who is jealous. But in order to be jealous, I mean, I suppose you don't need to know anybody to be jealous. I mean, you can see someone and see what they're driving or what they're wearing or how they look. Uh, you don't necessarily have to know someone personally to be envious of what they have um, or how they may appear. So was there someone that, I don't know, had something against him or didn't like him for a particular reason? Or is this him? Is this him that's envious? I won't cry for you. Okay, so that kind of alludes to a relationship, possibly. Peaceful among thorns. And then let me pull one more. The child I was meant to be. All right, so interesting group of cards here. Uh, it almost feels like, yes, he was dealing with something mentally. Ah, oh, that light is horrible. Jesus. Seems like he was dealing with something mentally and perhaps did not have hope that it would improve. Um, did he have expectations that he had set for himself? The child I was meant to be. The child I was meant to be. So did he have a feeling that he was not doing what he was supposed to be doing? Was he not uh, achieving the goals that he, you know, those meeting those goals or meeting those expectations? Did he not want to let his family down? It seems like he really wanted to get home. Maybe he felt disappointed that he wasn't going to be able to finish out his, his uh, you know, his nine-month stay in Australia. 
um, unhappy, very unhappy, and not seeing any kind of hope or way out of this situation. And we've got that, I won't cry for you. So was this him possibly uh, in a relationship? Is there a female that's popping up here somewhere? I don't know. I'm going to have to draw more cards out of the other deck. But this does kind of give us an idea of what was going on in his mind. And it does seem like there was some discontent. Uh, and I feel like, in all honesty, with this one here, somebody could have somebody could have made an offer to him. Um, did they make an offer to him on that road, on that Piha road, heading out to the beach? All right, so we'll put those aside. And then I think I'm going to start with this one here. Heaven and Earth Tarot. Okay. All right, Eloy, tell us the story. Tell us what happened that day. Tell us what happened. What happened to you? What happened to you when you left that train station? All right, the star reversed. I look at that as hopelessness. Um, Five of Pentacles. Let's take this one here. Ooh, Ten of Swords. Um, hold on, let me... Let's see if I can fix the light here. Ugh. I can never get my lighting situated properly. I'm sorry, I just... I'm trying to figure out... I don't want that big bright thing on the card. Okay, maybe that's a little better. All right, so, okay, let me keep going. Four of Wands. The Queen of Wands reversed. All right, so let's start with that. So right off the bat, I feel like with that star reversed down there, that's a sign of hopelessness. This was th these stars here represent all of his dreams and his aspirations. Okay, opportunities to be had, and you want this card to be upright. There was an imbalance of something. There was an imbalance of sorts, and with this particular deck, all of the stars are lined up to look like a clock to me. It looks like a clock. So there's something involving timing. All right. So we know that he wanted to go back home to France. He was going to leave Australia earlier than he had intended originally. Um, was there something something about the timing that he wanted to get away? He wanted to leave Australia before. Did something happen to make him want to leave Australia? Or was it just being homesick and wanting to get back with his friends and family? But there was a sense of hopelessness. Okay, and then the Five of Pentacles again. Uh, I'm not looking at that right now as financial, okay? I don't think that the Pentacles is coming up for finances. I think it's more health related and going through, uh, you know, if you look at that card, it's it's cold. It's in the middle of winter. You've got two people. They look kind of down. They're, they're hanging their head low. Uh, they're not in a very good state, okay? And I'm almost looking at this as possible and it's not a swords, but I'm looking at it as more of a mental situation. He was going through a challenging time. He was going through a challenging time, but there's also two people in this card, okay? Um, just like just like the failed to, or um, fated to suffer, okay? So we've got two people. And then also, I won't cry for you, the female. Is there someone that he had come in contact with in Australia that you know, what started out as okay, um, ended up not working out for whatever reason. Because I've also got this Four of Wands, and sometimes the Four of Wands can represent a union of some sort, or a celebration, or even a marriage. Um, so I'm, I'm looking at the Don't Cry For Me, or I Won't Cry For You card. Which one is it? I Won't Cry For You. Okay, so we've got this female here popping up. And then we've got two people here, and I've got the Four of Wands. And so that's kind of making me get like a relationship vibe, possibly, that, that 
soured or didn't go well or didn't go as planned. And that could have very well have been enough to push him to the point to where he just wanted to get the hell out of there and wanted to get back home. And that's what he was going to do. However, those plans ended up not happening. So whatever happened, okay, this card coming out, and I, you know, I'm just going (laughs) to, you know, leave it at that. Uh, It doesn't necessarily mean anything, but, it, you know, it... (laughs) It could very well be a betrayal, right? It's a stabbing in the back. So perhaps he felt betrayed by by this person. I, I feel like we're we're possibly looking at a relationship, and it, you know, a betrayal of that person, which leads him to go off. But then something else happens, right? Because he disappears. So he very well could have just been going out there to collect sand to take back home as a souvenir, and then he runs into trouble. And I think that this is what that trouble was and it is by water okay so uh and then the man is wearing a kind of a red cloth or or blanket or something over him he is face down okay and then we have we have the water and we have the sun coming up so did this happen you know early early in the morning uh usually that sun indicates a new beginning a new day but uh, you know I, I don't like this card coming up. So I feel like he did run into some sort of problem. But I think his mental state leading up to this disappearance had a lot to do with possibly a female encounter. And then we have the Queen of Wands reversed. So I wouldn't really put the Queen of Wands as a relationship for him because he was only 18, 19, unless he was seeing an older woman. But this to me represents someone older and it kind of, I'm I'm feeling like this is the woman that we're talking about or the first person that we're talking about. So, and, and also, this person is, this person is coming up next to, not next to it, but in proximity to this Ten of Swords. That could be the betrayal, or this person could have had something to do with the disappearance. I don't know. I need to draw more cards and see. All right. What happened to you, Eloy? What happened to you that day? Tell us the story. You leave the train station, and then what? Tell us the story. What happens when you leave the train station? What happens when you leave the train station? Tell us what happened when you leave the train station. All right, the King of Pentacles, an older gentleman. Reversed. The love card. There's a relationship of importance here. There's some relationship coming out as well. The Sun card, okay. The Page of Swords. Temperance reversed. All right, so I feel like he did come in contact with a gentleman. And this to me is a gentleman who likes to, when the King of Pentacles comes out reversed for me, this is someone who likes to portray a certain way, but is not that way, okay? He, he's, he, he puts up a front. This is someone who puts up a front of, you know, kindness, of... Uh, status, you know, all of those things, and it's just that, a front. And so he came in contact with this person. Now, again, you know, is this something to do with an offer? Did this man give him an offer for a ride? Uh, You know, did he just happen to see him walking down the street and this looked like an opportunity? Okay. Okay. Possibly. And then on top of that, I'm also looking back at this envious gluttony. All right. So do we have a man? And remember, this is a person here that likes to portray he is someone. Okay. So, uh, and it has something to do with pentacles. So I, I look more of that as status. Okay. This could be a person who, you know, tells you that he has millions of dollars or he's wealthy or he has a you know a sports car but he can't afford it you know something along those lines 
Um, you know, the person that tells you that they have a beach house in Florida and they really don't. Um, this is the type of person he is and he likes things. He likes material things. But he doesn't, he's not able to obtain obtain them the right way. So he does whatever, whatever he can to obtain them. Uh, in All options are on the table. Okay, put it that way. And then we have next to it, we have this envious gluttony. Remember when I first pulled this, I didn't know if it was Eloy or if it was the person responsible. And so now with this King of Pentacles coming out reversed, I feel like it is the person responsible. So there's a person out there that came across Eloy by himself. This is a nine. So it's like the hermit, right? So Eloy was alone. And I believe that this man here was alone as well. Eloy is already not in a good frame of mind. He's dealing with this relationship situation. And this person here is looking at Eloy as potentially a person to rob, okay? So he might have money on him, cash on him. There might have been something that he wanted to take. He might have just been angry, okay? This might be a person that, you know, obviously uh, p potentially has done this before, right? It could be a person that lives out there, is in that area. There's other people that have went missing out there. So uh, this person here... I think is is looking to be um, someone of concern. And then we have the Two of Cups, the Sun card, the Page of Swords. All of that to me is, you know, relationship stuff that he's dealing with. Uh, the Page of Swords to me could represent, you know, sometimes this is a person that, that you know, speaks before they think. Okay, somebody that's quick to react. And I actually feel like I feel like this is actually representing Eloy. And I think that this is a person also, I think this is coming out because this is a person that tends to make rash decisions. He may have not always been like that, but for whatever reason, maybe because of this relationship, it has made him the, I think that the relationship has made him um, do before he thinks, okay? He just reacts based on feelings, and it's not always the best reaction. But I think that he did come in contact with a female that, that possibly he fell in love with or had strong feelings for, and it changed his personality uh, because he was in love. And, and again, we have to remember that he was very young. Love makes people of all ages do do things, right, that they wouldn't normally do. So I think that this is a young man who, you know, met someone, a, a female, possibly was in a quick relationship with, it ended. He didn't quite know how to deal with that. So he's already in this emotional state and he's preparing to go back home and he meets this King of Pentacles reversed and it just n puts everything out of whack. And then we have the Temperance card reversed. So he, again, this is this is a little bit of everything. This is the the stress of the relationship, wanting to get the hell out of there, and then coming up and and meeting this person with these these bad intentions. All right. So now, Eloy, I want to know. I want to know what happened when this person, after this person. After you encountered this individual, after you encountered this King of Pentacles, what happened? What did he do? Tell us the story. What happened? The Empress. Hmm. Mom. Mom. Six of Swords. Leaving. Confused, not knowing what choice to make. The Fool card. Adventurous. Working. Okay, why is Mom coming up, Eloy? What's what's going on with Mom? Why is Mom coming up? Three of Pentacles. Reversed. Tell me why Mom is coming up. Alright. Um... This last card I pulled was the Four of Swords reversed, so the rest card. Uh, you know, that one with the Ten of Swords, I don't get an overall good feeling about 
the outcome of this. Uh, and I do believe that in his reading, he his energy is definitely coming through. And he, he to me, is definitely sending a message to mom. Okay, I, I, I believe that he definitely loved his parents and I think that they loved him. Mom is particularly coming out. And I feel like he's telling her, you know, this wasn't, I, with this card here, with this card here, I don't believe that there was any harm done to himself. He didn't do anything to himself. This was not intentions. Okay, I firmly believe that he went out there to gather the sand or do whatever it was that he wanted to do. And he was going to return home. Whatever his mental state was prior, whether it was a girlfriend or a relationship that didn't work out, he was dealing with that and he was planning on dealing with that, um, you know, as time went on. And he was going to go home and be with his family and friends. And I think that that was his, that was, he was holding on to that to help. And it didn't happen. He was, he was stopped. So I don't believe that this was a rest that he made himself to, or it wasn't. This wasn't, this is not intentional, okay? I don't believe that he harmed himself. I feel like whatever happened, it was forced upon him, okay? Hence the reason why it's reversed. And I do believe that he tried. I think that he tried to get away. This is for a couple of things. I think that this is the overall environment of trying to leave this area behind and try to put this part of his life behind him. It wasn't the experience that he had hoped it would have been. And he was trying to go home. He was leaving. He was he was leaving a situation that wasn't working for him, and he was going to go home. I also think that this applies to the situation at hand. That day, I believe that he tried to escape that person. I think that he did come in contact with foul play, um, and he, you know he he attempted to get away, but it just didn't happen. All right. We also have a lot of water, so we have more water. He was blindsided by this. He did not see this coming. He did not see this coming. And I don't think that he knows the person that's involved. I think this was just a random person that just happened to see him. Okay. Uh, again, we're by water. So I do think that Piha Beach is, or is it Piha? I forgot. I don't have it out here written. Uh, I do think that Piha Beach is uh, important to his location. Uh, but I, I, yeah, I don't, I'm not getting a lot of good feelings about this. Uh, I don't think that he knew what happened. I don't think that he was expecting it. He got put into a situation. He was just blindsided. Like he was literally blindsided. Uh, he was living his life. Yes, you know, he may have had some issues. He may have been homesick. The relationship, like I said, but he was the adventurous type and he was willing to continue on and see what life had to offer for him. I don't think that he had any intentions of ending his life or anything like that or running away from his problems. I think that he just ran into the wrong person. Uh, we've also got mountains here. We've got a dog. We've got, you know, there, there's... And then we have work. We have the work card, so we have the Eight of Pentacles reversed. So again, it, you know, this, it, it's reversed. Um, I, I just, at this point in time, uh, I, I don't know if he was working. I don't know what the financials, there haven't been a lot of Pentacles come up in this reading, uh, but again, um, I guess I forgot what I was saying. I'm sorry. I don't know if he had a job. I don't know if he was working or anything or what he did for money or finances or if his parents sent him money. I have no idea how that worked out. Um, but definitely, you know, there, there's something coming up with this card. Um, I don't know if it's the person because of that King of Pentacles, if there's a relation to the King of Pentacles reversed. Uh, it makes me actually feel like possibly the motive could have been financial. Um, was this just an opportunity to rob someone and it went wrong? 
you know, did he try to get away? Uh, did this guy offer a ride? Now, I have not pulled the chariot or anything indicating a car or a vehicle, but I do feel like, well, we have a boat, so we do have a means of transportation, but I feel like he was offered a ride, and when Eloy got into the car, uh, he realized that he had made a uh, mistake and tried to get away, and it did not end well for him. Um, and I think that with this Eight of Pentacles, I think that uh, material, material possessions, and again, I'm sitting here thinking to myself, I don't know if he worked, so I don't know if he would have a lot of money on him anyways, but this person may not have known that. He may have seen this foreigner, you know, I don't know if he's going to know if he's a foreigner, but he sees this young kid at nine o'clock in the morning walking down the road alone, uh, an easy robbery take him for what he has and then let him go but then it goes awry so that's kind of where I'm leaning with the eight of pentacles uh, and then we have the world card reversed so this is like the completion of a cycle but it's not the ending that you want right so of course this is for entertainment purposes but with several of the cards that came out including that ten of wands uh, I don't have a good feeling about the outcome and I don't think that this was anything that he did to himself. I, I think that the King of Pentacles reversed is the person responsible. All right, so let me go ahead and pull a couple of cards from the Book of Shadows, Tarot. All right, can we get more details about what happened on that day at the road? on Piha Road. Who did you encounter and what happened? Who did you encounter and what happened? Tell us the story. Who did you encounter and what happened? All right, so the Eight of Swords, entrapment, being stuck. Being stuck in a situation. Now, this to me almost makes me feel something more sinister is at play here because this to me looks like a woman who's drugged out okay she's drugged out on something and it, it it's it's a it's a card of being trapped okay trapped in your situation uh, it's a mental card it's a swords right so this I think is a little bit of both just his mental state at that time being in that situation and being at the wrong time at the wrong place but then there's that sinister part that's coming out at me and I'm thinking to myself did this person um, knock him out uh, did he give him something I, I, there, there's something else that's that's coming out with this card for me all right the magician okay the magician the Three of Swords, so, you know, that's not a good one here. And then we have the King of Cups reversed. The Fool again reversed, so this time the Fool is reversed. And I feel like, oh, God, I dropped a whole bunch of cards. I feel like this, I feel like this Fool is you know, he, I, I pulled the fool for him twice. The first one was upright. This one is reversed. And so I feel like it's almost like that, that adventurous side of him, uh, put him in a situation that was a little bit reckless. Um, I don't know if, you know, I don't know if you're living in a foreign country and you want to go out and get a souvenir for your family you know, it, it, you don't expect something bad to happen to you, right? But you have to take precautions because of the time in which we live, okay? Um, was he a little bit too reckless? Uh, you know, did he get into the vehicle of someone that was a stranger, thinking that this person was being kind, okay? Uh, something along those lines is what I'm picking up. I do believe that he was just minding his own business, walking down the street like this woman here. All right, he probably didn't have much on him. He probably had his, uh, I can't remember uh, the CCTV footage. I think he had a backpack, if I'm not mistaken. So just, you know, minding his own business, 
doing his thing, carrying his backpack, uh, but he runs into he runs into problems. And again, it's next to a King of Cups reversed. So a King of Cups reversed can sometimes be a drinker, someone who is very emotional, so someone who cannot control their emotions. They can go from uh, zero to a hundred in you know five seconds flat. So this is a person who can get angry quickly. Uh, this is a person who can you know react quickly, and then couple that with the King of Pentacles reversed. Uh, this is like I said, I, I believe that this is an older gentleman. And I think that he is in that area. He lives in that area. He may have children. Uh, and I would probably guess that he's the same way with his children as well. So not a very patient father. Um, and then we have the Three of Swords. So this is heartbreak. Again, this is alluding to his mental state, Eloy's mental state at the time. Um, and then I also think that that represents how he feels about it now. All right. Uh, just almost like... I, I this is not what I wanted. This was not what I had planned. I I had plans to continue my life. I don't think that this was. Um, he, he did not see this coming. He didn't see this coming. And then we have the magician. So interesting about the magician. Um, let me pull another card for that one. Let me pull a clarity card for the magician. It's a one, so it's the beginning. It's the beginning of something. It's like she's concocting something there, right? She's got all of her tools on the table. She has all of her elements. She has everything that she needs to do what it is that she's doing, whatever she's trying to put into uh, reality there. And we have the Nine of Cups. And in this particular deck, it's a birthday party, but it came out reversed if you can see it with the light I'm sorry so the nine of cups a reversed birthday party celebration that wasn't wasn't a good one and I actually feel like that's him coming through now and I feel like he is actually you know he, he to me he is expressing the sadness that he feels now and the sadness that his family feels because he went missing in what was it 2019 we are now in 2022, so he has ex he he's had a couple of birthdays, right? His parents have had to grieve for him on his birthday, and that would probably fit with this because this is usually a a, a card of celebration. So in this situation, they're they're not celebrating his birthday. I mean, they may be you know celebrating right his memories and and whatnot but it's not a celebration and so i feel like this is definitely um with the magician being a beginning card okay at the beginning of um a stage or a beginning of an era i feel like this is just not a, a to me it's just like i i mean i pray that he comes home and that his family find him and you know he can continue his life but this gives me this ugh, feeling about possible future birthdays um yeah i'll just leave it at that i don't get a good feeling on the outcome of this all right i don't feel like and i don't like to say things like that with the reading because it is a tarot reading at the end of the day it is not a factual thing. There's no evidence behind it. I do believe in what the cards say, and I think that they do a really great job at picking up the energy of an individual. Um, and I just don't get a good feeling about Eloy and his situation. I think that he ran into trouble, and it could have been a robbery gone wrong. You know, there could be somebody that's not obviously sane in that area. Um, the Knight of Pentacles, yeah. I, I think that he was definitely on his way to... Uh, he was ready to put, I think, Australia behind him and start preparing and planning for the future back in France. Uh, and I think that that was, that was completely... I, I think that he was just preparing a souvenir for his family and he ran into foul play. Okay, so let me pull uh, just a couple more cards with the Rider Waite 
I brought out I brought out the old Rider weight. Let me make sure it's upright here. I want to start it out all reversed. Okay. Alright, so final message from Eloy. Final message from Eloy. Okay. Where are you? Where where are you, Eloy? What has happened to you? Okay. Nine of Wands. The Six of Wands, or sorry, I meant Nine of Swords, not the Nine of Wands. The Hangman reversed. The Five of Wands. Oh my God, the Fool. There's something about the Fool card coming out tonight because he has come out in every deck. All right, he's come out upright twice and reversed once. And I do feel like this is Eloy. This was a person who was carefree. He was walking down that road without a care in the world. He wasn't expecting anything to happen. He wasn't thinking about anything bad going to happen to him. He was literally blindsided, okay? He 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 was this was just his his attitude, I feel like. There was no yes, there were some things in his mind about uh, possibly a relationship that didn't work out, but it wasn't the end of the world. He was planning on going home. I feel like he was ready to go home. He was ready to go reunite with his family and his friends, and he would have been just fine. Um, put it down to an experience at the age of 18 and, and move on. And I think that that was what was in his, his mind at that time. He was just doing something that day, uh, and he didn't have a care in the world. He wasn't paying attention. He wasn't paying attention to his surroundings. Okay, uh, and he ran into trouble. And then the Six of Wands, uh, you know, usually that's that that hero card, right? Uh, but I feel like this is more about himself. He was in his own world, okay? And it came out reversed. So he was in his own world, and he just, I, I feel like this is an extension of that fool where he just wasn't paying attention to his surroundings. Uh, this person could have been, there were some signs. I feel like there were some signs with this person. Uh, he might have picked up on some signs because we've got this dog alerting him that he's about to, to, to step off into the abyss, right? The dog's trying to get his attention. He's just not paying attention. So I feel like there was some possible signs that, that were um, there, okay? Uh, could he have felt like this person was following them? Did he have words with this person? Was there an exchange? Because we had that page of swords, remember? So to me, sometimes the page of swords can represent words and not good words either. And then we have this five of wands reversed. And so to me, that's kind of like, again, the five of wands is competition. Uh, and then don't forget that we have a, a king of pentacles reversed that is, you know, very, uh, I would say, the envious type, the jealous type, right? Um, so I'm wondering if there was a previous communication with this person. Did he attempt to pick him up and maybe Eloy said, no, uh, I'm not interested and then just continued to go on his merry way. But I feel like there was some, there was some warning. There was something going on here that, that he just, uh, he, he neglected to pay attention to it. He was in his own thoughts. He was just in his own thoughts and he was just on his way doing his thing and then he was going to return and, and just didn't see this happening. And then I feel like, again, with the hanged man reversed, uh, sometimes with the hanged man, I can literally take that as being tied up and I, I don't even like to say that but I feel like sometimes with it I can feel like this person is literally being tied up uh, and it makes me feel like this this person this king of king of pentacles reversed whoever this is this person that's responsible for his disappearance may have taken him okay I don't know exactly what the distance is between 
where his phone pinged in the actual beach. I don't know if it's a mile. I don't know if it's five miles or 10 miles. I don't know, but I feel like there's something there that indicates he was actually um, restrained, okay? Uh, and then we have the nine of the nine of swords and I feel like that is Eloy now I feel like Eloy uh, You know has regrets about what happened and I feel like he thinks about his mom especially I think both mom and dad, but mom came out in this reading I feel as the Empress and so I do think that he thinks about her and he misses her and he misses his family And he loves his family and he loved his family at that point and I feel like he wanted to go home and I feel like his message tonight in this reading was that he wanted to return home and that he had all intentions to return home. This was something that was unexpected. He didn't expect it to happen. He was blindsided. It came out of nowhere. He wasn't paying attention to his surroundings. And I think that he does have some regret. And, I, you know, I, I don't know. Let me ask if this person... Is this person, this King of Pentacles reversed... Um, is he ever going to get caught? Is he ever going to get caught? <laughs> Nine of Cups. Three of Pentacles. The Queen of Wands. Let's do one more. And the Eight of Wands. Hmm. I'm looking at that eight of wands as repetition. I feel like whoever this person is has done this kind of stuff before, okay? This is this is a pattern of behavior for him. So I know that I when I looked up the uh, Piha Beach, you know, there's several people, like I said in the beginning of this reading, that have went missing from that area. Um, I believe that some attempted to end their life uh, so they may have gone out there and, and harmed themselves, but I think that there's a couple cases where people have just disappeared, and it makes me feel like this person is the one responsible, um, because this Eight of Wands is coming up for him, not for Eloy, it's coming up for the person responsible, so this is a pattern of behavior. And I actually feel like he's pretty, he's pretty content with what he's managed to, com to, to do, okay? He, he's content with the fact that he's gotten away with it. He's happy. He, he's confident. He is confident that he has gotten away with it so many times. Look at these two cards. You got the Eight of Wands and the Nine of Cups. This to me would, to me represents that he has done this several times in the past, not just with Eloy and not just ending with Eloy either. He's done it since then as well. Um, and he continues to get away with it. However, I do feel like people are suspicious. I feel like the authorities are suspicious because we've got this Three of Pentacles. Every once in a while when this card comes out, I think of law enforcement, okay? And especially in a situation like this, I feel like there's a team of people that suspect this person or they at least suspect that there is a person like this out there doing these things. And they're working on it, right? They're working on it, but it's gonna be a team effort and it might mean other agencies becoming involved um, or people coming forward right this is just a team effort so maybe witnesses that think that they seen something but maybe haven't reported it or maybe don't feel like they have any information that's worth reporting um, I feel like all of those things are gonna have to come into play uh, to to find out the identity of this individual Who's the Queen of Wands? Um, you know, who is that? Is that a female that has something to do with, you know, uh, has she seen something? Is that one of the witnesses that I just mentioned? Uh, who is the Queen of Wands? What's the Queen of Wands? The Knight of Swords reversed. So the Knight of Swords reversed is uh, potentially a woman who knows, who knows something, but is reluctant to act on it. Okay, the Knight of Swords is reversed. So it's somebody that knows something, but she's reluctant to say anything. Uh, I feel like there is a witness. There's a witness or there's someone in this man's life that suspects him or knows what's going on or suspects what's going on or has seen something and she's reluctant to come forward. So I encourage anybody who is, you know, if anybody were to see this, this woman, if this individual sees this by chance, probably not, but... 
um, I I encourage you to to come forward to save someone's life potentially in the future because I think that this person here uh, really is a sick individual and is quite content doing the things that he's been doing. So I'm not saying that he's behind everybody that has disappeared in the Piha Beach area. I don't know if I'm saying that right, guys. I apologize. But I feel like he definitely has... He, he he definitely has he's definitely responsible for some of them and possibly other things in that area all right guys so i'm going to end it there tonight um i thank you for sticking to the end if you did stick to the end i know my readings are like super long i apologize it's something i gotta work on i guess um, but anyway, I am going to end it there, and I hope you guys have a wonderful and blessed evening. I'm going to get this video up probably, I don't know if I'm going to get it up tonight. It takes sometimes a minute to upload it, so I don't, I don't know. It'll be up sometime probably Monday. But thank you for being patient and waiting a couple extra days, and I will see you later on this week. Bye, guys.